my name is Gary Ludwig and welcome to the Gary Ludwig Show. Today we are going to be going over NASCAR, the Dixie Vodka 400, which took place this past Saturday. Um, our UFC picks, like always, we do that all the time. Sadly, we don't have any soccer, but next week we will. And then Eugene Driver 3, I'm going to I'm gonna explain that to you in a bit. And then the 10 things you don't want to hear from your dentist, we have NASCAR. I'm going to say congratulations to Denny Hamlin. He won the Dixie Vodka 400. And he did really, he did really good the race. In the race, um, he kept a solid pace the entire race. Um, he he didn't go past the top five. So no no matter what happened in the race, he was always within the top five people. He did really good. He kept a good pace, and he didn't let himself go too bit too too far back in the rankings, which helped him in my opinion. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know much about NASCAR. That was actually my first ever NASCAR race I watched, but. He kept a good, solid pace the entire race, and I think him being top five helped him a lot in the race. So yeah, one more time, congratulations to Denny Hamlin for winning the Dixie Vodka 400. And now to my UFC picks, Curtis Blades versus Alexander Volkov. Um, I have Curtis Blades, and here's why. Curtis Blades, in my opinion, he's a better stand-up. Um, he's better ground. Alexander Volkov, I see him winning, but like, I don't think he's gonna win. Like, if he he has the knockout power in, in heavyweight, anybody can just knock you out in one punch. Okay, but now in a closer match with the Josh Emmett and Shane Burgos fight. I see this fight going anyway, but I have Shane Burgos because Josh Emmett, Josh Emmett has real he has one punch knockout power. Like he's known for that. Um, but Shane Burgos has a really good chin. He doesn't get knocked down easily. And something about Josh Emmett is he does. If he gets, if he goes past the first round, he's not gonna win. He he uses all his stamina in the first round. Like the the fights he lost, they weren't they weren't a decision. He has four straight knockout wins in the first round, but Shane Burgos has the chin. So it's either um, J Josh Emmett wins in the first round TKO or KO, or the other person in this case Shane Burgos wins in decision. I'm going Shane Burgos wins in the decision. Raquel Pennington versus Maria Renu. Um, I have Raquel Pennington. Better stand up. Nobody's going to the ground. I just see this not going to the ground. Nobody has... The, I mean, their ground game is okay, but it's going to be a stand up fight and Raquel Pennington's better. And then, but now the Balil Muhammad versus um, Lyman Good. Um, I have Balil Muhammad, but this is... Uh, this is a flip a coin fight. This can go either way, but I'm leaning towards Balil Muhammad because, in my opinion, Balil Muhammad, he's he has an ama he has amazing stand up. But Lyman Good has an amazing stand up too. Lyman Good does good in the first round. He wins the first two minutes in the second round, um, but he gets destroyed the like the rest of the second round. And then it's he wins the first two rounds, but it's a matter of if Balil Muhammad's gonna knock him out in the third round or not, but Balil Muhammad has the knockout power to do it, so I think he's gonna do it. Um, Balil Muhammad, third round KO. And then Jim Miller versus Ro Roosevelt Roberts. Jo Jim Miller, he's old, 35 years old, and Roosevelt Roberts is an upcoming star. He's 24 years old, he's coming off three straight, no, he's coming off five straight wins, and he has, he had, he's had three fights in the past two months, which is really, this that's actually really good. Cause I I'm gonna be honest. Before before this year, I actually I, I've heard about Roosevelt Roberts, but after these last three fights, he's been destroying and destroying. But we haven't seen Roosevelt Roberts on the ground. But Jim Miller is an experienced fighter. He's an experienced fighter, but he runs out of stamina in the first round almost every time. But what Jim Miller's gonna do is take down Roosevelt Roberts. And if he, he's gonna try to get a submission in the first round, and that's the only way Jim Miller can win. I actually do see Jim Miller winning in the first round, but I I think Roosevelt Roberts is gonna get past the second round, cause or past the first round, because he does have really good jujitsu. And Jim Miller, he's a submission specialist, but yeah, he I don't think he's gonna submit Roosevelt Roberts in the first round, but it's a possibility, but Roosevelt Roberts. Um is my pit, is my play, and then we have Clay Clay versus Bobby Green. Um, Bobby Green, this is well. Bobby Green, he's a better striker in my opinion, 
But um, Clay, he's a he has a better ground game and a better clinch game. Um, but um, Bobby Green has has amazing takedown defense. The only way I see Clay winning this fight is if he knocks down Bobby Green in if they're on the ground. But Bobby Green has amazing takedown defense. I don't see Bobby Green going to the ground unless he gets rocked and knocked down. But that's that's not gonna happen, or I don't think. So Tisha Torres versus Brianna Van Buren. Uh, Tisha, I have Brianna Van Buren because Brianna, um, she, I feel like she, oh, she's better than Tisha Torres and all of the things. Um, one thing I would give um, Tisha Torres credit for is the clinch, but really, you only, because there's a small cage for now, because the they don't want a lot of people, so they have a small cage, which benefits clinch people, because it's easier to get on this them on the side of the cage for the clinch, but um, Brianna, 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 sorry, um, she she I see her go, uh, striking striking fast, putting a lot of pressure and to Tisha, and I think the. T Tisha, Tisha Torres is not going to be able to stand the pressure, and Brianna, Brianna is going to win. On to the next game. Mark andre Barriou versus Oscar Pichota. Oscar... Oh, yeah. What should I say about this fight? I have Oscar Pichota, but... Like I said, this is another... Coin, this is another... Um, this fight can go either way. Um, um, I If I had to... I, I know we picked Oscar, but I'm kind of changing it to Mark Andre Barriou because they're they literally have the exact same stand up. They they're evenly matched, skilled, and the the clinch. I would say Mark Andre Barriou is a better better stand up game plan, but um you know Oscar Pichota, he's gonna show up like he, I know. Oscar, I'm gonna take Oscar. He is he's better standing, trust me. And then Courtney Casey versus Robertson. Gillian Robertson. I usually I would go with Courtney Casey, but after watching film of this fight, I was like, well, Courtney Casey has a better stand-up. But that doesn't matter because her punches don't do anything. Like her Courtney Casey's punches are weak, and I think Gillian Robertson has a better ground game, and this fight's obviously going to the ground. Frank Camacho versus um, Justin James. Frank Camacho, better stand-up. Justin James, better ground. Um, and Frank Camacho, better clinch. Um, Frank Camacho is gonna win in the clinch. Um, I don't think she's, he's gonna. Uh, I don't think he's gonna knock Justin Lanes out, but I'm, I'm saying it's a decision win. For the next fight, it's Roxanne Modafferi versus L Lauren Murphy. Um, Lauren Murphy, uh, better stand-up. Um, the the ground game is pretty much even, but I don't see this going to the ground. Okay, so we have. Austin Herbert versus Max. So I have Max winning this fight. He's five and zero. Oh. Austin Herbert is four. No, he's eleven and three. Um, Max. Max. Okay, this is what I know about Max. Um, he's a he's amazing on the ground. He, he I feel like he's gonna win by submission. But the what I don't know, what why I'm kind of scared about this fight is because Austin has amazing takedown defense, and Max. He's he's he ha if he wants to win he's ha gonna have to go on the ground. But we haven't seen for these past two f two UFC fights for Max we haven't seen a stand up game for him. Like his stand up has been a bit weak. Like he has to go to the ground. This is what I think is gonna happen. They're gonna go into um, Austin is gonna win the first round, and Max I feel like he's gonna finally manage to do a takedown in the second round, and then. Pound him from there, and then it's gonna be a third round. And then I feel like Max, I feel like Austin's just gonna be too tired, and then Max is gonna take him down in the third round. And I feel like uh, Max is gonna get third on submission, but I still don't know because Austin has a he he's he's a striker, and he has an okay um, he has an okay ground game, ground game, but Max he he's his stand up game. I'm really scared about that. Um. Yeah, it's like Chase Hooper when he played Alex Caser fight, fought Alex Caceres like two weeks ago or two cards ago, whenever it was. A lot of people thought Chase Hooper was gonna win, including me. Like he has a better stand. No, he has a he has a bad stand up. He has an okay stand up actually, but an amazing ground game 
and he, uh, Alex Caceres didn't let Chase take him down. That's what I'm kind of scared about this Austin Herbert versus um, Max fight. But I feel like Max is just going to get the third round submission. Like, everybody's expecting it. And, yeah. Max by third round submission. So next, we are going to Eugene Driver the third. Um, he's turning 70 years old tomorrow. And this Saturday, he's going to attempt to break the 70-year-old 200-meter dash world record. Um, I'm going to watch this in person. It, I, I hope he does it. He seems like a nice guy. And... I'm rooting for him. <laughs> um, I think he's gonna do it though. He's been practicing and he's he's done track for over 55 years, which he has experience, which it, I think he's gonna do it. The experience is very helpful here. And yeah, go Eugene. Also, he's also doing a GoFundMe um, fundraiser for the elderly. Um, and now to sum everything up, we have the 10 things you don't want to hear from your dentist. Number one, now that's called a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> and number two, Rhonda, can you bring over the jumbo drill? Number three, I can't reach it. Number four, well some teeth just aren't worth saving. Number five, you know, I think I'm going to let my intern give it a try. Number six, I almost had it. Number, number seven of the 10 things you don't want to hear from your dentist. Number seven, now floss can be your friend. Number eight of the 10 things you don't want to hear from your dentist. Number eight, Johnny, can you bring in the gingivitis model? Number nine, Johnny, can you bring the metal restraints? Number 10, the good news is you'll still have the taste on the left side of your mouth. And that is going to be it for The Gary Ludwig Show. Hope you all enjoyed The Gary Ludwig Show.